water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, when homemakers and cooks were burdened with the all-consuming labor of manual food preparation, and uninspired kitchens were relegated to the hidden shadows of utility, yes, now, chef. an iconic object emerged. Behold, the KitchenAid Stand Mixer. Welcome back to another episode of Iconic Objects, where we throw around some half-baked ideas about some of the most popular furniture and home decor items ever. And I scour the internet for some of the most obscene earrings I can find. This week's episode is about a 100-year-old piece of machinery that altered the course of kitchen history. A culinary powerhouse that transformed the kitchenscape from domestic to aesthetic. A cultural touchstone that still manages to encapsulate nostalgia and the future all in one. From its alluring palette of vibrant color finishes, to its stacked arsenal of tools and multifunctions, to its major recurring role in like every cooking show, the KitchenAid Stand Mixer is more than just a miraculous kitchen appliance. It's an heirloom, a game changer, a statement piece, a customizable decor accessory, a best friend. So let's get mixing. So imagine this, it's the turn of the century, 1908 specifically. The Industrial Revolution has already taken hold. We've seen major shifts occur in textile production, agriculture, transportation, everything. But then this guy, Herbert Johnson, an engineer at the Hobart Manufacturing Company, finds himself confronted with a scene that shakes his modern sentimentalities to their very core. A baker mixing dough with a spoon. Yes, a true Sisyphean tragedy. So what does Herbert do? Well, what anyone in the land of opportunity would do. He and a collaborator named Thomas F. Ratezak, am I pronouncing that right? Don't know. Developed a mixing machine. U.S. patent number 1,264,128. Now, this first mixing machine was not exactly a homemaker's dream come true. Uh-uh. It was industrial-sized for mass production and could mix up to 80 quarts at a time. A success for commercial kitchens, including U.S. naval battleships, but not so much for homes across the United States. So in 1919, Hobart released the KitchenAid H5, a much smaller mixing machine for the home. Supposedly, they called it the KitchenAid because during testing, the wife of an executive said, quote, I don't care what you call it, it's the best KitchenAid I've ever had. And that's how brands are born, folks. But still, the H5 was heavy as heck, 65 pounds. That's like a full-grown basset hound on your counter. And at $189 a piece, about $2,700 today, it was a bit pricey. So despite its motorized mixing capability, these barriers prevented it from mainstream popularity. KitchenAid's competition was stiff. It wasn't the only mixing product on the market. And let's face it, it wasn't that cute. Things didn't really begin to shift for KitchenAid until 1937, when the company hired a designer named Egmont Ahrens. He created the new Model K, and overnight, she became America's it girl. The Model K changed, well, everything. That sleek, sexy, enameled, futuristic silhouette was to kitchens what Dior's new look was to fashion. Oh, no. That silhouette was the moment. And then the moment after that, and then the moment after that, and then the moment after that. So, okay, we get it, she's cute. But what exactly made the KitchenAid stand mixer the creme de la creme? Was it really that superior of a product? I mean, technically, yes, it is kind of the best. But more important than that, the KitchenAid did something that was quite frankly revolutionary for the time. It wasn't just the creme de la creme, it was the creme de la femme. It redefined a feminine space in a time when the feminine identity was being completely reshaped. To back up a bit, basically the advertising industry woke up one day and realized that women were the primary consumers in their households, yielding a substantial economic power that could make or break a brand. And so KitchenAid came out and said, more power to you. The KitchenAid mixer was brilliantly marketed to women with an idealized version of domesticity. In fact, it was originally sold primarily by a door-to-door -door sales force made up of mostly women something previously unheard of. Ads portrayed us as confident and capable, highlighting our mastery of the modern kitchen, with, of course, the stand mixer as our symbol of culinary prowess. 
And yes, while I'll admit that this optimistic word salad is basically the mid-century's way of saying a woman's place is in the kitchen. Semantics, am I right? <laughs> this depiction of the modern woman as creative, discerning, and progressive, as well as vital to the very functioning of the household, was, I suppose, the industry's odd way of giving women their flowers and selling more stuff. The new feminine ideas in kitchens, the new things to use, the new things to do. And in 1955, KitchenAid began offering their wares in new brand colors. Sunny yellow, island green, satin chrome, petal pink. Okay, well, now you've got my attention. This kitchenware was meant to be seen, which meant that the kitchen had officially ceased to be a private back-of-house space. With its sleek design and vibrant colors, the KitchenAid heralded an aspirational shift in how we perceive the domestic sphere, and therefore became the embodiment of what a kitchen could really be. Hey! Kitchens can have sleek designs and vibrant colors too, okay? If you think about it, the KitchenAid is a time capsule, a relic of historical moments when technology really took the W and actually made our lives easier, when the once utilitarian kitchen became a playground of interior design potential, and dare I say it, when feminine possibility was acknowledged in mainstream modernity. And in today's day and age, so much of the KitchenAid's allure rests in its ability to capture that time. The thing is loaded with nostalgia. Many remember it as a hallmark of their childhood memories with grandma's mixer now being passed down through generations and such. And so many of us have fondness for the mixer's cultural nostalgia. <sighs> After all these years, this thing still looks like a Buick Roadmaster and cooking with it makes you feel like Julia Child. And the three yolks are going to go into the bowl of our electric mixer. And for us millennial folk, the KitchenAid has become the ultimate kitchen signifier of successful adulting. Even if you never plan on using it, getting to pick out your own KitchenAid color is kind of like getting to revisit the back to school days or having a second bar mitzvah. And if you plan on actually using it, owning a KitchenAid is a statement, a declaration of one's commitment to culinary excellence, even if that expertise is yet to be fully realized. It's an acknowledgement of the creative potential within each of us, beckoning us to explore the vast possibilities of the kitchen. So whether you inherited it as a family heirloom or just watch enough of the Great British Bake Off to want to try one out for yourself, or if you simply use it as sculptural decor for your kitchen countertop, the KitchenAid Mixer will always hold the promise of more power to you. And you can head on over to Wayfair to make it happen or, you know, to get some accessories for your KitchenAid as their accessories are compatible with all KitchenAid models from across all time. And like and subscribe for more culture-shifting furniture and decor. Mwah!